Hello Year 6 and welcome to your virtual school visit. I'm Mr Newton and uh, this week we've visited a number of schools to introduce ourselves. Uh, so for those schools we weren't able to get to, this is your introduction to Gosford High School. Uh, we've called it Year 7's Guide to the Galaxy with a bit of a space theme uh, just to spice things up and uh, give us a bit of a focus as we go through some important stuff. First of all, Mission Control, my name is Mr Newton. I am your year advisor for not only year seven, but all the way through high school. Miss Wheat is my lovely assistant year advisor and Mr. Howe is the head teacher welfare. You can see introduction videos from all three of us in the first week's materials on Google Classroom. Our mission outline. Uh, it's a good point at this, uh, this time to think about where we're headed. You're at the end of year six, you're at the end of Mission Primary School, and you're about to start Mission High School. Now this is quite a different mission in many ways. At the end of primary school, you know where you're headed, high school comes next. But high school leads to so many different possibilities at the end. And this is um, a reminder that this is a mission heading into what comes after school. And so there's some changes that come along the way. A brief outline of our journey, our mission launch, our first day of year seven is Tuesday the 31st of January. But before that, we've got a couple of things lined up for you which are super exciting. The first one is what we've called test mission, uh, test mission number one, which are some taster days. You will have received an invite to one of these two days, either the 14th or the 15th of November. And on that day, you are invited to attend Gosford High School and uh, participate in a day at school. We'll have classes for you. You'll move around like a high school student does. You'll get to meet some different teachers, try out some different subjects and get a feel for what it's like to be a student at Gosford High School. Test mission two is our orientation day. This is when all year six students across the state visit their high school for the next year. And so of course you uh, will be coming to Gosford on that day. We do things a little differently on our orientation day. <clears throat> and so your parents will actually be invited to join us. You'll hear more about that soon, uh, but that promises to be a fantastic day as well. Now, the next thing that's coming up, we've called it the moon landing here because it's a big stop on our journey. This is next year, so after you've started year seven, uh, in week four, which is the third week you're at school because week one is only teachers. Uh, so in week four, you will go on camp to the Great Aussie Bush Camp. Uh, it's an awesome site. They have all kinds of adventure activities. There's archery, there's high ropes, there's a big swing, uh, team building activities, all kinds of things happening on that camp. Uh, but more important than that is that you get to meet uh, and spend time with more of your classmates. Uh, you're going to spend the next six years with this bunch of people, and so it's good to form really strong relationships with them, get to know them really well. And we find that camp is a great way to do that. So it's a lot of fun, get excited about it, uh, and we're certainly excited to spend some time there in week four next year. At this point, we talk about uh, life on board. What is it like at Gosford High School? What are some of the, the changes, some of the different expectations uh, that's that's kind of what we're focusing on in this next little bit. First of all, getting to Gosford High School. For many of you, that's going to be a big change uh, with trains, buses, uh, various means of transport to get into school. Uh, don't forget, you can. it's a little bit covered up there, but we have about 50% of our students coming from Sydney every day. So uh, many of you live a long way from the school and travel an hour or more to get in, uh, but you'll have plenty of peers who are doing the same thing. So there might only be one or two of you from your school, but there will be other people from your area. I can pretty much guarantee it. So look for the uniform, maybe meet them at um, a taster day or orientation day, share some details and get in touch with them and travel together. Many of our students say that transport, getting to and from school is actually one of their favorite parts because they get to spend time with their friends. So it's almost like another recess or lunchtime for them. Once you get to school, finding your way uh, can be a bit of a challenge at first. We are a large high school. We have more than a thousand students 
And so we've got three story buildings, lots of rooms, different precincts in the school. And at first you might get lost. I've been teaching at the school for a while and if I'm in a classroom I'm not normally in, I might get lost from time to time as well. But one of the great things about Gosford is that we are such a supportive school. You can ask anyone and they will uh, be able to give you, uh, point you in the right direction or give you advice about what you need to know. It's no different when you're finding your way around the school, there will always be someone to help, usually someone in your class who already knows the way. To make things easier, in our first week, we also uh, get all students to meet in the same place at the end of recess and lunch, and your teachers will actually take you to the classroom for those first lessons. So there's certainly nothing to worry about. You might end up in the wrong classroom once or twice. That's okay. We all understand that that happens. Again, it happens to us as teachers too. When you first start year seven, you'll get a diary and uh, there are many changes in terms of different subjects, different teachers, all those kind of things that, that are part of the adventure of high school. Your diary is one of the best ways to keep track of what's happening. It's got a map of the school. You can put your timetable in there, uh, but the weekly diary is, as in the weekly pages, um, are so important to keep track of what's happening in your different subjects. You can put your maths homework in, you can put your science experiments in, whatever it might be that you need to remember, the diary is the, per the, the perfect place to do that. These are the bell times. Uh, we don't need to look at these in too much detail, except to mention that you start at uh, nine o'clock every single morning. Uh, and you finish at 3.10 p.m. almost every day. Unfortunately, uh, my face is covering up the one day that's different. Uh, we have a two week timetable. There's week A and week B. And in week B on Wednesday, uh, you get to go home at 2.45 instead of 3.10. So you get an early mark. Uh, that's because assembly is shorter. And so that gives us a bit of an early, uh, early finish on that day. Otherwise, you have 20 minutes for recess, 40 minutes for lunch, and each period is an hour long. First period, a little bit longer to give you time for roll call. There are five periods or five lessons in the day, and usually they will be with a different class, a different, or a different subject and a different teacher for each of those lessons. Some subjects like sport, you might have a double lesson as well. Now this is what your timetable looks like. This is a week A timetable, there's a week B timetable as well. And this is a timetable for a particular student. So I chose a, a random year seven student, this is her timetable. Uh, it will be different to almost all of her friends. Uh, and there's a few reasons for that. You can see when you look at this timetable uh, that not only does it tell you uh, the different room that you're in, the teacher that you've got, the subject of course, but there's a little code in brackets. Uh, and so it might say seven ng m. So seven English and class M. That tells you the group of students you're going to be with for that class. Now for most subjects, you'll be in what's called your core class. That's for things like geography, science, um, uh, what other subjects? Maths, PE, those, uh, those subjects you will be uh, with your core class. Some subjects you'll be with a different group of people. That's things like visual arts and technology because you'll have a smaller group of students in those classes uh, and you'll also have a different group for English. So you won't be with exactly the same students all day. Uh, it will depend on the subjects you have that particular day. However, about three quarters of your time you will spend with your core class. I should say before I mention uniform, uh, the Year 7 student transition team have put together a great video on timetables, so it's well worth checking out. Very briefly, this is your school uniform. Uh, the junior uniform is mostly blue. We can see that on the right there, uh, and uh, it will be very easy to recognise all of your fellow students making their way from the train station or bus stop uh, wearing this lovely uniform. One of the great things about Gosford is so many extracurricular activities. Some of them are probably familiar from your primary school, things like band, uh, perhaps chess club, 
uh, but we have drama groups, we have crochet and knitting clubs, we have um, board games groups, we have tennis, uh, table tennis happens once a week. There are heaps of sporting teams. There is so much stuff for you to get involved in. So if you have a passion, there is a good chance that Gosford has a place for you to make that a reality. One of the things that we ask our students to do is to bring a device with them each day, usually a laptop uh, or something similar, um, but this is a key tool for learning. So uh, hopefully many of you will already have a device, otherwise that might be some Christmas shopping, uh, and we ask you to bring it fully charged each day, ready to learn. If you don't have one with you or can't get your hands on a device, there are some that can be borrowed from the library as well. You won't only use a device in class, of course you'll have subject books like an English workbook, a maths workbook as well, uh, but it is a key tool that we use um, for everything from accessing textbooks to uh, looking up information for research tasks, for preparing assignments, all kinds of different things. Now this is the amazing student transition team. These are all year seven students this year and they've given up their time to prepare the amazing stuff that you see on Google Classroom. Uh, I haven't written any of it, nor has Miss Wade or Mr Howe, and this is all from them. And they've done such a fantastic job because they are so passionate about welcoming you to the school. That's how much they love Gosford. They want you to have the same welcome that they had, and they're keen to help you in any way that they can. These are the contacts for me as Year Advisor and Miss Wheat as Assistant Year Advisor. You can also get in touch with us on Google Classroom, uh, but we'll certainly see you very soon at our Taster and Orientation Days anyway. The fact that you are seeing this video probably means that you are part of the Google Classroom, uh, or if you are not at a public school, then of course you will access this information through the school website. Um, unfortunately, there is no way for us to um, add you to the Google Classroom if you're not currently at a public school. We've tried, it's just not possible, um, but in any case, uh, that's one option for getting in touch with us if you are um, able to access that. Otherwise, those contact details on the previous slide may be of use to you. In any case, wherever you're coming from, whatever your school is, however many there are coming from your school, we are so excited to see you. I would love to hear your questions to, um, to be able to answer them now because I'm sure there are some questions after that brief presentation, uh, but in any case, uh, can't wait to see you, can't wait to share the journey of the next several years with you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.